Hey guys, for our sensory activity today, we are going to do primary color sensory bags. Okay, so what we're going, what you're going to need is three zip top bags, some red paint, some yellow paint, and some blue paint. Um, it doesn't have to be acrylic paint, it can be finger paint, it could be, you know, just regular washable paint. Um, this is just what I had at home, so this is what I'm using. You also need some clear tape, which, once again, I have packaging tape. It doesn't have to be packaging tape, it can just be regular scotch tape. Um, all you're going to use with the tape is to tape it down under the table. Okay, so, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our red paint... and our yellow paint, okay, we're going to open our first bag. So, we are going to put our red paint in the bottom corner and our yellow paint in the top corner, okay? You shouldn't need a whole, whole lot, um, but, you know, you'll need enough so that way they can combine colors, okay? So, we've got some red paint. Messy red paint. And some yellow paint. The top corner seems to be a little easier to get to. My yellow paint would want to come out. Okay. So there's my red paint and my yellow paint. And I'm going to zipper that one shut. In the next bag, you're going to need some yellow paint and some blue paint. Okay, so the yellow paint is going to go in this bottom corner. Maybe. The yellow paint seems to be a little bit thicker than the red paint, which is fine. So that's just the way the paint is. Alright, so I've got some yellow paint. And now that yellow paint's done, so I'm going to close it completely. The red paint, I just have the cap on, so if it tips over, I can... It hopefully doesn't make it as big of a mess. And some blue paint. And then you can seal that bag. Okay. And then in the last bag, you're going to need some blue paint and some red paint. So the blue paint is going to go in the bottom corner. And I'm going to put that cap back on. Some red paint. And the parents will definitely have to do this part um, just to make like, things a little easier for you. That red paint is really thin compared to the other two. And then I'm going to put that cap back on. Now, um, these are my husband's paints, and so he has them open like that. But if you have the paints with the flip top lid, you can definitely use the flip top lid to make things a little bit easier to control. Okay? And you are going to seal that last bag. Okay? So, you've got all three bags with all the colors in it. You might want to get as much air out of those bags as possible. Okay, see there's there's some air in this one. It bubbles up, so I'm going to open it back up and just kind of push as much air out of it as I can without pushing out any paint. Alright, this one looks pretty good. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these to the table. Okay? Yeah, just like that. So I'm going to take my tape, whatever kind of clear tape you got. I'm going to make one long strip. And I'm going to tape all of these down to the table. Well, that was nice of you, tape. Okay. So... Try and line them back up because the tape fell. 
All right. So we're going to make them all stick to the table on the top. I think the bottom I'm going to do a little differently because that was really difficult with the long pieces. So I'm going to make them shorter pieces. Okay. And I'm going to do one bag at a time. I'm going to tape the bottoms down to the table. And the reason I'm taping both sides is so that way the bags don't move as I mix the colors. Okay. Or they'll move a little less. Because they'll probably move a little bit because the middle isn't taped. But they'll move less this way. My bags taped to the table. I have them taped shut pretty well up top. So hopefully paint doesn't ooze at the top as you're pushing on the bags. All right, I'm going to start way over here with the red and the yellow, and I'm going to mix them together. Now I want you to think about what colors red and yellow make as I squish it together and kind of mix it around. Play with it. Play with it doesn't want to mix like I wanted it to. What color do you think it's going to make? Think about the rainbow. Okay. And as you keep playing with it, it's going to mix more. So you can see a little bit there in the middle is some orange. So that means that red and yellow make orange. Now, we're going to do the same with the blue and yellow. Think about what colors that might make together. Okay. Blue and yellow make my favorite color. And as you squish it around, as you mix it together, it's going to blend. And you can see it right there. So that means that yellow and blue make green. Now, is that a perfect green? No, but that's okay. That's what happens when you mix colors together on your own. You make a shade of the color that they make when they mix together. And then the last bag is red and blue. And this color will match the color of my shirt today, surprisingly enough. Okay, so as you mix it together, and see what the tape is doing? The tape is holding that bag down. It's not really moving, and I'm pushing pretty hard. That made purple. So blue and red make purple. So if red, yellow, and blue are primary colors, that means that orange, green, and purple are secondary colors. So I'm going to bring my camera down, which is my computer, and I'm going to give you guys a closer look to the bags, okay? So you've got red and yellow making orange, you've got yellow and blue making green, and you've got blue and red making purple. I hope you enjoy this activity, and I hope you guys are able to squish the bags and move them around and feel it all with your fingers. Paint is such a funky texture, and it feels really cool on your fingers. I hope you guys enjoy.